Amelia Boynton Robinson was a passionate and impactful leader of the civil rights movement in Selma, Alabama. After graduating Tuskegee Institute, Amelia Boynton Robinson moved to Selma to work as a traveling educator for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, witnessing multifaceted disenfranchisement of black farmers. Discriminatory practices legalized in Alabama's constitution in the early 1900s effectively excluded black Alabamians from politics into the 1960s. Local white authorities suppressed voting rights and limited broader voter registration efforts, making it nearly impossible for a black person to cast a ballot. Amelia Boynton Robinson is known as one of the Courageous Eight who revived the Dallas County Voters League in the 1930s. In 1934, Amelia Boynton successfully registered to vote. Her husband, Samuel Boynton, shared her dedication to achieving civil equality in their community. Together, they fought for property and education rights, hosting regular voter registration drives. In the 1940s, the Boyntons bought a home from their friend Booker T. Washington. 1315 Lapsley Street welcomed dozens of scholars, artists, civil rights leaders, and community members for gathering. In 1964, Amelia Boynton ran for a Congress seat in the U.S. House. She was the first female African American to run for office in Alabama and the first woman of any race to run as a Democrat in the state. Despite rampant voter suppression, she received 10% of the vote. Amelia Boynton Robinson also invited Martin Luther King Jr. and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference to organize civil rights efforts from her home. Facing intense opposition from Selma's Sheriff Jim Clark, she worked with Dr. King and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference to strengthen the civil rights movement and stage protests in Selma, playing a key role in the Selma to Montgomery marches. On the day now known as Bloody Sunday, media coverage documenting state troopers and local white men's violence against peaceful marchers included images of Amelia Boynton Robinson, who had been beaten unconscious. Bloody Sunday sparked national outcry over the South's resistance to the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and drove President Lyndon B. Johnson to sign the Voting Rights Act in 1965. Amelia Boynton Robinson was a guest of honor in attendance when he signed it into law. At the age of 103, Amelia Boynton Robinson marched hand in hand with fellow civil rights activist Congressman John Lewis and President Obama across the Edmund Pettus Bridge to mark the 50th anniversary of the Selma to Montgomery marches.